Building wealth to get to retirement one day is a question of repeating some simple disciplines over and over and over again. But it's also a question of avoiding some things, mistakes that have the potential to, at best, delay your retirement, or at worst, mess it up altogether. So what are these dangerous pitfalls to be avoided at all costs? Well, I'll tell you. Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Pete Matthew and I'm a chartered financial planner based here in the UK. And this video is brought to you by Meaningful Academy Retirement Planning. More on that in just a little bit. By the way, we got the message about the background music in the last video. Received loud and clear. Right, let's get into our six potential pitfalls that could stop you retiring. Starting with pitfall number one, lifestyling. Now, Lifestyling is the process of gradually reducing the risk of your pension funds as you approach a given retirement date. This often happens by default in personal pensions and also workplace defined contribution or DC pensions. These are the ones where you build up a fund of money that you have to decide what you're going to do with when you retire. Now, reducing risk in this case means gradually moving the investments inside your pension out of shares and into other supposedly safer assets the closer you get to your chosen retirement date. Now, the problem I have with this is that your retirement date is usually not a cliff edge. It's often a moving target, and often you will gradually retire rather than everything sort of happening on one day. One day you're working, the next you're not. Also, chances are that you set your retirement date on the pension plan back when you took it out. I mean, that might be decades ago, and it might not have any bearing on when you want to retire now. And with pensions being so flexible at retirement these days, there are loads of options available to you when it comes to taking money out. And we need to plan for that, making sure that the money is invested in the right way at the right time. Here at Meaningful Money, we don't like things happening by default without our input. Instead, we like to be intentional with everything to do with our finances. So turn lifestyling off, pause the video, pick up the phone to your pension company and do it now. Pitfall number two is having too many pots. Now, diversification is generally a good thing. Spreading your money around makes sense. Eggs in baskets and all that. But it is possible to go too far with this. I mean, I've seen people with double-digit numbers of pension plans, and they have no idea what they've got, not really. And this extends to savings accounts, ISAs, and even the funds inside their ISAs and pensions. I've seen people with 40, 50, 75 different funds inside their pensions. So why could having too many pots stop you from retiring? Well, I've also seen people forget about pots from years ago, literally losing track of money that could be put to good use. I've also seen people lose the will to engage with their money because the complexity just flummoxes them. Flummoxes. That's a word we don't hear often enough flummoxes. But they sit down with good intentions to sort everything out, but they take one look at all the paperwork involved and they either give up or they end up coming in to see people like me with a carrier bag full of paperwork. And yes, they end up paying us a lot of money to sort everything out for them. A simplified financial portfolio is a godsend when it comes to knowing where you are, how you're invested and what it's all going to add up to when you want to retire. Pitfall number three is not knowing your spending. Ugh, I've said it many, many times here on Meaningful Money. All financial planning comes down to just two things. Money in, your income, and money out, your spending. If you don't know what you're spending each month, how can you possibly know whether you have enough money coming in or enough capital set aside to retire well? Answer? You just can't. Now, I reckon about one in two people come into us here at my practice at Jackson's and they have a really good handle on their spending. You get people who track everything with spreadsheets, slicing and dicing the data, and then you get others who struggle to know what they're spending, even when I ask them to give it to the nearest 500 quid a month. I kid you not. Somewhere in between is fine. You need to have a broad handle on your spending. Let's face it, it's likely going to be much the same month to month on the usual stuff with some big changes for holidays or big birthdays or whatever. And it's fairly easy to take this info from your bank statements and it's totally worth spending the time to do so. So your goal by the end of next week is to figure out what you're spending if you don't know it already. So lifestyling, ugh, 
Having too many pots and not knowing your spending, those are the first three of our six pitfalls that could stop you retiring. But before we get into the next three, if this has challenged you so far, or even if you just like the color of my t-shirt, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It helps feed the almighty YouTube algorithm and it really helps us out, so thank you. Pitfall number four is not having enough money outside of pensions. Now I love it when a client comes to me to help them plan their retirement and they have a nice spread of assets. They've got pensions, ISAs, good amount of cash, maybe a general investment account or a venture capital trust in the mix. And conversely, my heart always sinks a little bit when someone comes in with just a ton of property, not much in liquid money, or possibly even worse actually, all they have is pension funds and hardly anything outside of pensions in ISAs and cash. You see, after the 25% tax-free cash that can be taken from a DC pension, after that, everything you take out is taxable. So let's say you have a pot of 100,000 pounds and you wanna take 5,000 pounds a year out of it. Well, assuming that the pot grows by 5% a year and the amount you draw increases by inflation at 3% a year and you're a basic rate taxpayer, so anything you take out from a pension is taxable, so you have to take out more to end up with your 5,000 pounds net. Well, drawing from an ISA would use up the pot in 25 years, but the pension would be used up in just 19 years. And that's just an example. Obviously, there's loads more variables that impact the success of a retirement plan. But suffice to say that it's important to have money in tax-free accounts. And that means ISAs, because this gives you options about where and how to take the money that you need to live. Pitfall number five is ignorance about the options available. And there is really no excuse for this these days. But only the other day, somebody emailed me who was disappointed in the likely income they were being quoted at retirement from their pension company. Well, it became clear from speaking to them that they didn't know that they could shop around for an annuity from any other company in the market. That's called the open market option. And they didn't know about the incredible flexibility offered by modern pensions. Things like flexi access drawdown, off plus, small pots rules, and the endless options for investment. So it's a good job they did email me because otherwise they probably would have accepted the suboptimal default option. And a decision made in one moment out of ignorance that would set the pattern for their retirement income, perhaps for 30 years or more. They would have had 40% less income than they could have. And I say there's no excuse for this because there's just so much information out there these days, which makes it easier than ever to educate ourselves. Even the providers of pensions and other accounts have to provide this information by law. They're just not very good at making it easy to understand. Remember, retirement is the biggest financial transition any of us ever make, possibly bigger even than losing a partner. And it makes no sense to go into that transition not knowing all of our options. Now, you might not be financially minded, but you can always seek advice. And that brings me to the very last pitfall that might just stop you having a successful retirement. And that is pitfall number six, refusing to seek advice. Now, before you click away, I know this sounds self-serving. I am a financial advisor, but bear in mind, I've spent 13 years and nearly 500 videos telling people that they can do this without the help of an advisor. But if retirement is as big a deal as I say it is, and it is, then why would you not at least consider getting some professional help to see you through? I know loads of people mistrust financial advisors, and in some cases, that's not without reason. But most advisors are consummate professionals who only want great outcomes for their clients. And so writing off an entire profession because somebody three steps removed from you got ripped off back in 1984 is just stupid. Many advisors will offer a one-off planning session where they can set you in the right direction as you approach and enter retirement. And there are more protections for customers seeking advice under the excellent UK regulatory system than in any other country in the world. Now, I've done videos on how to find a financial advisor. I'll put a link to that in the description. And you may well be fine going solo, but many, many of you will not. And refusing to seek advice is like suffering through toothache because you refuse to see a dentist. So please don't let refusal to seek advice kibosh your retirement. Now, a good halfway house between going completely solo and seeking advice is to join Meaningful Academy Retirement Planning. And this is my course, especially for those who are in the run-up to retirement and they are making the great transition into the biggest holiday of their lives. And the course is my most 
distilled learning on the subject, and it includes video lessons, calculators, worksheets, live Q&A calls with me, and a thriving community of people in a similar boat, all looking to help each other out. There is even access to the very best financial planning tool in the world. It's the same one I use every day with clients. It's called Voyant Go, and I'll teach you how to use it. So head over to MeaningfulAcademy.com slash retirement planning, and if you decide it's for you and you want to sign up, don't forget to use the coupon code YouTube for a decent discount. I hope to see you inside the Academy very soon. Lifestyling. Too many pots, not knowing your spending, not enough money outside of pensions, ignorance about retirement options, and refusing to take professional advice. I run into people making these mistakes all the time, and it just pains me to see the problems that they experience as a result that could so easily have been avoided. Please don't let that be you. Think about whether any of these pitfalls might apply to you, and do your best to go around them. Next time, we're gonna go on from here and revisit one of my most popular videos and ask, how much is enough to retire comfortably in 2023? With rising interest rates, higher inflation, and potentially lower, slower returns from investments, has the game changed? I'll see you next time for that one, but while you're waiting for it to be released, maybe watch this one over here. Six things you need to know before you see a financial advisor. But thanks for watching this one. Like and subscribe, etc., etc. and I'll see you in the next video.